68th, January, March, the monsoon, mountainous, here, saying, Swiss scientist claims to have found an extraterrestrial baby that was abandoned in the Brazilian jungle. Dr. Burton Spiller said the tot appears to be 14 to 16 months old and is in surprisingly good health. The boy bears some resemblance to a human baby, but his pointed ears, colorless eyes, and tube-like nose strongly suggest that his parents and ancestors did not come from this planet. This is the scientific find of the century, Dr. Spiller told reporters in the Amazon River city of Anori. This child is living proof that intelligent life exists somewhere other than Earth. For reasons we may not ever understand, someone has delivered him to us. Dr. Spiller says he found the baby in a jungle clearing on July 14. The anthropologist originally thought the strange-looking baby might be deformed or retarded, but once the child recovered from hunger and exposure, it became clear that he was the healthy offspring of a non-human being.
State Line, Manhattan, Kansas. A pilot and three passengers escaped certain death at the bottom of a ravine today when their plane landed in a pasture and slammed into a cow. The cow saved our lives, said pilot John Lozano. The plane struck an 800-pound Hereford before it hit the bottom of a ravine near Manhattan, Kansas. The cow limped away. Mr. Lozano commented, I love cows. Madam is served. Thank you. Will you excuse me, please? May I have your attention, please? Before we move into the dining room, I'd like to propose a toast to the new friend. Shall we? I thought I was going to die. <laughs> then I pulled it off, I tucked it. Air, 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 is everywhere. Air is everywhere. Air is everywhere. I can't tell you how to foam your board. I can't tell you how to foam your board. A bad bone is a good bone. A bad bone is a good bone. Dateline, Indonesia. Man goes naked for 50 years. A kooky carpenter named Akko has never worn a stitch of clothes since the day he was born, 50 years ago. My body will itch very badly if I wear clothes or a sarong, said the buck naked bachelor. I break out in a terrible rash that drives me crazy. His friends and neighbors in the tiny village of Kalampang, Indonesia, have reluctantly accepted Akko's bizarre lifestyle. He's the only carpenter we've got, said produce merchant. Nazrul was bada. Besides, he doesn't have anything we haven't seen since he was a day old. Akko cried his eyes out as a baby whenever his mother put clothes on him, according to neighbor Yayasan Dia. Well, well. My name is MCAT, and I'm here to play. We're along with our friends on this quite sunny day. We are out in the woods, and we are jumping this thing. Everything that I love is something that I sing. I was looking around, and I see a chair lift. I see people eating lunch, and I see he has no clip. I was thinking I was drinking, I was making this song. I've been thinking I've been drinking, but I know it's too long. The jump we get is quite very high. We are skying very nicely and we want to die. We are trying, we are flying, we are flying so high. Up in the sky, we want to die. Die, 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 die. die.
wasn't even that cool. Hello, snowboarders. Does the wind and sun bother your skin? For years, I've sympathized with patients who are forced to live with the pain and embarrassment of Zaharis. Medicine has been of no real help for many people. Let me explain that this revolutionary approach involves a relatively new field of bioenergetics. This has to do with the energy system of the body and how it affects how peppy you feel. I, I just came down the hugest wave. It was like Waimea Bay. The water, you could almost hear the ocean crashing. But today, because of my new discovery, the Zizayar of her can finally receive the help he or she has been hoping for. As one sufferer related to me, I couldn't go swimming or wear dresses because I was so ashamed and embarrassed. I went to doctors and dermatologists, used creams, took shots, slept in plastic suits, but there was no change. Then I started Dr. Joe Solo's program, and early in August, I was clear. It was a glowing, saucer-shaped object. We were never so scared in our lives. It was even more terrifying when three little gray-skinned men with huge heads came out of that thing and grabbed us. We couldn't do anything because we were somehow frozen, couldn't move a muscle. 
The creatures seemed to talk to us without opening their mouths, and they scolded us for not taking better care of our teeth. Then they said one of my back teeth would have to come out, and suddenly, Popo, they yanked it out like nothing. There was no pain at all. <laughs> 